Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a pretty cool Rec Room update. They just released one and they go over some pretty cool things that are new inside the game. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Rec Room's patch, all that, and the Bag of Chips edition. They talk about their new home and a bunch of other Maker Pet shortcuts. There's also a ton of circuit updates, a bunch of bug fixes, and even some Rec Room Studio stuff to even top it out first. So let's get started with the actual patch note. They start off their Rec Room patch by saying, new home. Some of you with iPhones will start to notice something new when you first launch the actual app. This is what we're calling the Home, our new launch experience. Home was created to load quickly into Rec Room and what brings you to what you already love about Rec.net. You can scroll the feed, comment on photos, discover rooms, and chat with friends. All with the core Rec Room experience being a tap away. So sort of think of it as Rec Room's own social media, I guess, or Rec.net on your phone. It essentially is. You can see your messages, you can see your friends, you can basically see everything that is somewhat on your watch you guys can check it out now and let me know if you guys actually have it on your ios devices not too sure if this will be rolling out to android soon haven't found any information regarding that but i'll let you guys know next off they talk about their actual maker pen shortcuts now this is only for screen mode from what i've noticed mobile and vr players can't do this because vr players already have it and mobile is mobile they say maker pen radial menu shortcuts are available for keyboard and gamepad use it quickly for quick access to high frequency tools undo and search available on the default control scheme by holding down the middle right click or left trigger. They even have a little gift to go off and show its practicality too. Pretty cool. And to top this off, they even have a bunch of circuit updates that we can go over. Also, if you guys want to, there will be timestamps for each individual topic. If you guys aren't interested in circuit updates, you guys can check out the other parts of the update as well. They fixed several of the player UI chips not caring about the net heat limit. The cooldown period for the player prompt multiple choice chip has been decreased, and the chip will not display a warning if it's being used while it's in cooldown. The chip will also no longer time out when run from a local player. There's a bunch of new chips that are actually in beta too. They have list remove item first, list remove item all, string replace, string split white space, strings trim, color to RGB, and lastly, color to HSV. Now time for our general improvements and bug fixes. We're testing out a huge improvement to the outfits menu. Take a stylish spin around Rec Room with the following quality of life improvements. Outfits are now renameable and searchable, a new dynamic scrolling layout, fast links to purchase more outfit slots to Rec Room Plus or additional outfit items in the store, and did you know you can jump to get out of some seats? Well now there's a button prop so you know how. Now inside the patch notes, they say they improved the performance in studio for Rec Room objects with a large number of exposed properties or events. Fixing an issue in Rec Room Studio where removing the Rec Room object component from a prefab left the room's maker pen scene in an incorrect state. Added support for post-processing effects in Rec Room Studio, and you can now enter search terms to filter the list of rooms displayed in the pick room window. You can now chat with co-owners who are also playing the room that you are actually editing. And some pretty big news here, Rec Room Studio uploads no longer allow files greater than 100 millibytes in order to improve stability in the cloud build process. It's a pretty cool limit on Rec Room Studio, and I kinda am glad that they're doing so. I just hope it allows for better gameplay on lower end devices, that's the best I can hope because I've seen constant Quest 2 complaints about it, but we'll have to wait and see. As always, let's hope Rec Room Studio does improve and add more limitations to this file stuff because not everyone can handle it. As always, let me know your guys' thoughts and what are we thinking about the general improvements and bug fixes and the Rec Room Studio updates. But yeah, that's basically our entire news. Now regarding the whole home stuff, I'll try to find news if that'll be available for Android or stuff like that. I know I'm gonna get a bunch of comments about that and be sure to let me know if you guys are, you know, curious about anything else. Have any questions, thoughts, or things that you wanna be fixed inside a rec room? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below and whilst you guys are doing so, be sure to subscribe and punch that like button. But without further ado, I'll catch you guys all inside the next update video. And, uh, you know, this, this builder guy will too. As always, see you guys all inside the next video, and without further ado, BROFIST!